Who says the guys get all of the cool watches? No one. Now, if I said it once, I'll say it again. Every queen should have a good watch in their collection. There is no way around it. So today I've pulled a bunch of beautiful women's watches, but I'm really only gonna be talking about six of my favorites. But before that, let's go ahead and talk about this week's giveaway. This week I'm giving away the stunning LB exclusive 14 karat white gold 0.09 karat diamond horseshoe pendant necklace. So don't forget to subscribe and comment on this video to be entered to win. Once this video hits 1500 views and for an extra entry, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the jewelry vault LV. So starting off with this, Patek Philippe Aquanaut Quartz watch, and the reference number here is 5064. This is the perfect feminine watch for any lady. The watch case is crafted from durable stainless steel that measures 34 millimeters in diameter and features a diamond set bezel. So when your man is out wearing his Aquanaut, not only can you guys match how cute, but yours will look way better. Plus, yours is much cheaper under $30,000. Now, if you've seen a Rolex Daytona and thought, damn, I wish that was like a little smaller, I've got you covered. This two-tone Rolex Daytona with mother of pearl dial is typically seen as a men's watch, but don't let that stop you from wearing what you want. This one in particular is beautiful and has that little bit of sparkle that most women would look for in a jewelry piece. Now, plenty of Hollywood's leading ladies have taken a page out of this book and have been seen all around town wearing some amazing men's watches. Trust me. But maybe, just maybe, you're looking for a ladies Royal Oak Offshore. Don't worry, I have one of those too. So this Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Ladies Watch, reference number 67540SK, features a stainless steel case measuring 37 millimeters in diameter, and again, features a diamond set bezel. Now, it's not too much bigger than the vintage Royal Oak, but with this rubber strap, it definitely sits a lot better on the wrist. Not to mention it's only a little bit more expensive as it sits around $17,000. Now, as you all know, I typically wear a two-tone Rolex Datejust. Now today though, switched it up. I got the John Mayer here and the Rolex, of course, and I'm wearing a men's watch. As I just said, ladies, do what you want. If you're feeling it, go for it. But today, I figured I'd bring up another Rolex Lady Datejust Jubilee Two-Tone. Now, this one features an oyster steel case. The watch is presented on a matching Jubilee bracelet, which honestly, I love. They're so comfortable and they complement the watch, but what really ties this piece together is the champagne dial. Love it. With most two-tone Rolexes, it comes with the Everose Rolliser Rolex Signature Fluted Bezel and is currently going for just under $10,000. Now, if you're really looking to make everyone in the room jealous, I have an amazing piece from Patek Philippe. The striking presence of the Patek Philippe Ladies Automatic Nautilus Watch 7118 cannot be denied. This Nautilus model sports a slightly larger 35.2 millimeter stainless steel case. It features a silvery opaline dial with gold applied hour markers and luminescent numerals. 56 diamonds encircle the cushion shaped bezel, being the most expensive piece on our list at $70,000. Now, how can we mention ladies' watches without talking about Bulgari? The Bulgari Serpentine Jewelry Watch, reference number 101790, is a member of the Sublime Serpentine Collection. It is made of 18 karat rose gold and embellished with diamonds and onyx. And let me tell you, it looks great on the wrist. It is currently being listed for $37,000. It's beyond beautiful and such a classic jewelry piece overall. And that is it for today. So guys, let me know which was your favorite. Go ahead, shoot them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all of your jewelry tips and tricks. We'll see you next time.